Hi, you are welcome to Veggie Architecture. Today, we are going to talk about how to export a model from TIFF Architect to SketchUp V ray rendering. A lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial on how to export because we don't have TIFF Architect extension for V ray. But this is an alternative that I found that it will be helpful to, to a lot of people, architects, and graphic designers. So, let's jump into it. Please, if you like my tutorial, I'd like you to like and subscribe. It helps me to make tutorials like this. So here's the model that I have. So we're going to export this to SketchUp. So we have our SketchUp already here. So we can see. Oh, okay. Let's stop some rendering. So we can. We have a file here. So we're going to go ahead and hit a new file. This the model. Okay. Let's say no. So, so we go, we can have a new model here. So, as this load, let's see what we can do here. Okay, it has opened. Okay, so let's remove this. So we can remove this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now let's jump into our model. so let's hit our three D model. For you to export, you need to go to three D. So here is our three D. So I'm going to export this model into SketchUp so we can render our service over there so this is the model that I have I'm gonna to go to file export Collado or 3ds let's 3ds I think I already have um, um exports export okay I already have it there so all I'm gonna do is hit if you're gonna prompt export already exists do you want to replace it yes i'm gonna replace it these materials are the materials that were not found during the end port from x7 to tfactor s12 so we're gonna hit ok you can see our import has been export so let's import it into our sketchup we're gonna file you want to export import you go to file import you hit on import then you can see the extension that I'm talking about is already there. So we're gonna hit on export. So this is what we how we save our model. Then you're gonna import hit the button to import our model. So it's still asking us closed. We don't need that. So let's see what we have over here. Okay, okay. <laughs> now you can see our model here. So we have successfully imported our 3D model from SketchUp to 3D model, sorry, from Chief Architect to SketchUp. Now, what do we do next? Okay, let me add some few environment or like grasses, whatever. Maybe we can use that as an environment. So let's see how this goes. I think, uh, okay, we can use our move to move this uh, is remember you have to move to here so let's see how we can bring it down a little bit okay I think uh, it's, yeah it's a little bit okay here so we can add some grasses if you want to add some grasses here so now our model is highlighted we can make a group then we're gonna apply for add photo selection so you're gonna hit okay so we are sorted then adding four to our selection so maybe we can make so it's fine like this so now let's see what happened let's say we're going to apply some bricks to this wall let's see you see i cannot apply any material here i cannot apply because there is a problem here but we're going to solve this problem how do we solve it hit on this right click explode if you want to explode so exploding means we are going to separate the geometry so we can apply some material that we feel like you can fly let's say for example i want to hit see i cannot add anything here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to explode them one after the other sorry let's it in this before see here i can i can add material <laughs> so this is the trick so here you can add material explode 
Let's see. Okay, fine. It has worked. Now you can see. Okay, let's for example, I'm gonna add this. I can't add it. There's no magic here. We cannot add any material here, but but we can add it by explode, explode, then pick, apply, explode, pick your material, apply. Now you can see. Now let's add some uh, few few grass and. Um, material to our grasses so we go to landscape and we hit on this and i think we have a farm mod so now you see you can render this using v-ray for those if you love designing with if i me i use if i a lot i also model my 3ds in sketchup as well now let's say for example let's hit let's add some doom light let's say we want to test run this rendering in v-ray now let's hit our material settings okay which is already there now i hope we don't have any interactive render okay we don't have so let's hit on interactive rendering let's we'll have so right now we have a new model this is a formal design that was rendering before we came in here but this is what we want to render right now so our our aim is to have this start rendering so the project is compiling the geometry so i believe in the next few minutes so as it goes face is a bridge so let's see what happens here you can see here we have some bricks these are the bricks i was telling you that the materials we are mixing but that is why there's an alternative that we can use by right clicking explode so with that we can make our own material in sketchup we, we, we could make our own material in sketchup so let's see so you see the material is a certain rendering already so this is what we have here so it has open so then we can add our material here see so so this is what you have. You can you can render your services here. You can add a lot of geometries and settings. So in whichever you can render yourself from Tiff Architect to Fury. Please if you like this tutorial, I like you to like subscribe to my channel. It helps me to make tutorials like this every time. So see you next time for our next class. I'm gonna make another tutorial for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, okay?